And what is up guys, Technical Stinkers here uh, with the 3D print operation for today. A Little bit different of a vlog today. Uh, so I have the Elegoo Orange Storm Giga. It's a real big printer. And if you've been following the channel, you know that I have it in my garage um, with a car. So my wife uses the car and goes out. It's entering the winter months. And a challenge we've been having is when she opens the door, all that cold air rushes in. There's concerns about layer adhesion and having that shock cold air come in. The garage has its own mini split to keep it climate controlled 23.9 hours per day. But when that door opens, it's causing some concern. So if you've been following, you saw I put up these vinyl shower curtains, attached them to the side, and that seems to be helping. But I'd like a little more elegant solution. So I've seen other people make enclosures for the Giga, but that's like several hundred dollars for this Plexi. And I only I can only imagine they charge shipping on top of that because shipping four foot panes of Plexi uh, is probably not gonna be cheap. But if you saw, I do have this really thick Plexi here, but it came up a little bit short, but I do have another sheet, a big honking eight footer, four by eight at the warehouse. So today our goal is to travel to the warehouse cut it to size, bring it back here, fine tune it, and make ourselves a hard enclosure for the Orange Storm Giga. So I got my tools just to level. I'm gonna use a little jigsaw for this one with a little uh, a metal bit. That should be fine. Again, not cutting precise. I'm just cutting it to size so it'll fit in the bed of my truck because I don't want a four by eight sheet of plexi flopping in the wind. Actually, it is 20 degrees out today here in southern north carolina on top of that i'm going to take the opportunity i've collected a bunch of uh garbage i have a dumpster at my warehouse uh but i'm not going to use the dumpster i'm going to throw this all in the ocean all right and mother fuck, double mother all right so i got the plexi out man this thing's unwieldy this is really thick stuff i'm not uh it's about a quarter inch i guess it's a uh, macrolon so i guess it's like fancy plexi because i did <laughs> i dropped this twice no shatters or anything so uh, I've actually used this before in uh, my server closet and that thing I beat the hell out of it and it didn't break so got a little rough line there I'm just gonna try to cut it and get it out of here all right so it's been a couple days and you have to pardon the uh, quality doing this on my phone it turns me from white to yellow over and over again but we're back here revisiting with the Giga the Mayo I head is out and so we're clear now it's time to start trying to fit in uh, and do our plexi enclosure. Wanted to start with the top because that's the area where things could fall into it. I've got my little shower curtains here on the side that would keep things from kind of going in. Uh, so how am I gonna do this? All right, so I've got this half inch EMT here. I've got plenty of it. This is the bracket that I designed in Shaper. Uh, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, looks like I'm about a quarter millimeter off from it fitting inside. But I was like, you know what? I need to really hammer this out today because I want to get printing on the Giga again. Uh, this is a good learning experience and I could continue doing things like this, but I just went to Tinkercad and made sort of precisely what I need. And those are printing now a couple hours out. Gives me time to cut the Plexi, kind of fit it and make sure it's gonna be how I want it before like putting the brackets on and whatnot. And so what I got here is uh, actually size this down. This is the kind of the grommet. It'll fit in. This will be on top. It'll just fit into a, like a little hole here. And I've got this torus here, which is kind of, you know, somewhat chamfered out. Uh, and that will sort of allow the filament to sort of slide down through. Again, in the future, maybe do some, do this in nylon. I don't have any nylon filament and I've never used it before, but I think that would probably be the, uh, the ideal scenario. Is that a gap right there? Oh my God. Well, the gap's not on the other side, so <laughs> should be okay. And so over here on the Soval, I have my bracket clips going. So just kind of a quick revision. This is what I had previously. Uh, I was just going to slide the EM EMT inside of it. This way, I just made them into clips. They're going to be a little tight, and they have sort of a slight sort of barb on them. Again, very simple design. Should snap right into place. And because the uh, it's going to be going um, over top, because I don't want the gantry to come up and hit it, um, they're laying on top, and it's just going to be, there's going to be a gap. It's not like sealed. It's not going to seal up the Giga which, you know, hot air is going to flow out, and it's fine. It's more so the, the function of the Plexi is more to keep things from falling inside the printer than to keep hot air inside the printer. Plus, those build plates are so large, it's creating so much heat. I mean, it's burning like 600 watts ongoing, and that's primarily the beds. That's a lot of radiant heat that's going to be kind of in there, and I'm not going to be printing ABS or, or nylon or carbon fiber or anything like that in there, or nothing that's going to require that level of heat. So I'm not too concerned about that. It's more so about the protection. All right, 
right, so I got the test piece fitted in. It seems to be just fine. Didn't go all the way to the back. There are some gaps, and like I said, when the brackets are sitting here, the uh, the top of the plexi will be like about an inch uh, up, so it'll be all the way around. In the future, I could fill that in um, with probably something that's 3D printed, uh, but overall, it looks pretty good. So now, because I used one of the older pieces of plexi, I have the two four by four squares for which I could use for the sides. So like I was saying, I don't really want a door per se. So I don't really have clearance for it. Um, what I'm thinking is something that like a pane that I lift off and like I put some brackets on the bottom. So it just kind of rests on a ledge and then kind of, you know, locks into place, some kind of snap or holder thing to hold it on there. I could put something a little more permanent on the side of the machine um, because I'm not going in and out of the side, but at the front, you know, I don't want to have to be opening that door and worrying about the hinges, whether they're strong enough or whether the screws that are going into the plexi are, you know, too much stress on those, the plexi cracks and, you know, it's just, if you've worked with this stuff before, you know, it can be a little finicky. You now this is really like high grade stuff. I don't know why we have this to begin with. Um, so, so it seems pretty sturdy, but I'm not trying to put it to the test. All right, so doing a bad job tubing, but I got the pane of plexi here on this side. Left it long, you know, because uh, I'm not gonna enclose the back or that side over there. Won't let the wall do that. Uh, but left it a bit long, you know, cover up some more area to keep air from kind of whooshing in there unnecessarily. Again, not trying to make it airtight, uh, but I just utilized these, uh, these sets here in the T-bars. Just shot a little, hex screw in there 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 should be just fine nice and sturdy not overly tight it does bow a little bit you know kind of taking it in here it bows out where this uh the gantry frame comes in but nothing rubs nothing uh contacts and so my plan is because i don't want to have like a swinging door no hinges or anything it's just going to be a pane of plexi that i lift up and put on here and then when i need to get at the printer i just take it off and remove it no hinges or anything like that um, I need something for the plexi to rest on. I don't want it resting on the ground. I like it to be up. So I think what I'm gonna do is utilize these, uh, these corner brackets here with this little set like I used to screw in the plexi on this side. And if I can craft some kind of little bracket that just sits on this ledge that ties into this, maybe it locks into here, something along those lines. It will just be a little shelf. The plexi can rest on there. And then at the top, I can have, I don't know, some kind of latch or uh, maybe even something in the middle, maybe some kind of clip. And that's kind of a clip that goes on here because I will have clearance between the plexi on top and the top of the frame. Some kind of clip that just kind of, you know, put the plexi in place and then flip it down and it holds it in. So likely working on that, trying to de design something. And you know, you know my process. You've been following the channel, you know that I'll make 10 different things and try them out and tweak and tune them and then throw them away and try 10 new things until I find something that sort of halfway works and then I'll use that um, over the next few days. But again, I'm trying to get this thing moving and grooving. Um, I think I can, once I get the top section on, I can route the filament through, make sure everything works, do a small little test print, uh, and then I can work on the door like while it's printing. I don't think I necessarily need to, uh, to wait. I should, but I wanna get this thing moving and grooving. All right, so bad job YouTubing, but I got my big, uh, my big doink in here. I got the brackets out. You can see the brackets are pretty simple. I think I showed them already, but again, these are the ones I did in Tinkercad. The, uh, the half inch EMC snaps down. I guess I was a little hot on that one, huh? Uh, but I got that half inch EMC in here times three. And like I was saying, it leaves a gap here in the back. But again, I'm not too worried about it because the, the goal again is not to like trap temperature in that's a large volume of air. I think it would need like a supplemental heater uh, pushing into it to like really regulate that because isn't the point of that to have it like at a set temperature. That's just a large volume of air. So it's more so about protection. Nothing's gonna fall in back there, but it covers us from the shelf to the front here. Nothing will fall in, now it'll scratch up. It's plexi, you breathe on it wrong, it'll start scratching up. So what I'm gonna do is clean it up and probably just to go ahead and pop in a couple holes right over these uh, support bars uh, just to zip it in, maybe move this one back a little bit. Pop in our grommet and party. All right, this is, is 
five. The width is 80 to the whole center. It's about 12. All right, so amazingly, the first thing I designed fits crispy clean. So I went through and made it longer, made the hole a little smaller, and this is it. It's the wrong side. Printed it at 100% infill because it's going to be holding a lot of stress. But my thinking is, is that if I got it here, the weight will carry down the triangle and it won't be an excessive amount of force on the screw. So just the one screw holding it in place should fit there. And then on the other side, and then we'll think about the top later. All right, and so it is the next day. Got this bracket in place. This is the one for the other side, but I'm gonna have to make some adjustments because I didn't account for the connection here or the kill switch. So I think I'm just gonna take some cutters and like cut this out to size place that in and this should hold the plexi in place and then for the top i was thinking just uh some kind of like bracket that snaps on that slides back and forth and when i cut the plexi i'm just gonna cut a notch out of it because i really like having the screen here so just a square notch out of a big square and then when i place it on here i just slide this in place and it grabs on so going to be working on that today this one's running a little long so i'm just going to stop it here and then we'll finish out the giga enclosure on tomorrow's cut, take a look and just kind of monitor the progress as we go. Also wanted to work on, someone was very nice and sent me a uh, discharge, a flushing volumes solution for the P1P, because I don't like to use the P word that everyone else seems to have no issue with, but I do. So we don't use the P word here. Uh, it was a drawer that goes underneath the P1P, adds about five inches of height. So I have to check the clearances and if I have to adjust the shelves to make it fit, I think it's worth it because that would just alleviate so many problems and it'd be nice to have a drawer underneath that could pull out the P1P and dump those flushing volumes, all those little little bits of, uh, of discharge and flush. Um, so I have to check the clearances on that. I'm gonna have to print that in PET-G, uh, but I think I can combine some of them and print them in one big piece on, on some of the Cobras. So gonna be playing around with that, working on everything else piecemeal all the way through. Try to get the Moai head on there, try to get the Rhino fixed try to get everything else fixed and manage everything else along the way. So stay tuned, I'm gonna announce the winners for the filament giveaway. Again, probably in a short, maybe a community post or something like that. Appreciate everybody who entered. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Be sure to like the video because it's the nice thing to do and subscribe for more content like this. I'm The Technicals, see you next time.